What if, every time we flipped a light switch at home, a mountain exploded in West Virginia? Or every time we turned on the air conditioner in summer, a child had an asthma attack somewhere in Tennessee? Or when we turned up the heat, the entire planet was warming? And what if, instead of all that, we had a choice of something better? What choice would you make? There are a lot of nasty things that can happen when you turn on your lights. And I think that's one of the reasons we need to shift to a new kind of power system. And then there's the energy we all take most for granted, electricity. Over the next 20 years, just meeting projected demand will require between 1,300 and 1,900 new power plants. As the low estimate is 1,300 new plants, the high estimate 1,900 new plants. That averages out to more than one new power plant per week, every week, for the next 20 years. I've heard it said that when you do things the way you always have, you'll get what you've always gotten. Today we've got global warming, air pollution, and all sorts of human health problems that are tied to the way we generate electricity. One new power plant per week. So when I heard Vice President Dick Cheney's speech, I wondered how can we possibly afford to build all these new power plants? There's got to be a better way. I believe we are motivated by both our fears and our hopes. My greatest fear is that people will see the problem as too big and too severe to do something about it. But I'm an optimist and I believe we can do something. The rest of this story is about hope and what we can do in our own lives to bring about an energy regime change, to bring an end to the problems. We'll visit schools, businesses and homes that prove solutions are available to us in abundance if we choose them. These solutions can be simplified like this. Step 1. Use energy more efficiently. Step 2. Use green power. For example, Buffalo Mountain is green power. No pollution, no coal mining. The solar panels on top of the Zero Energy House are green power, generating clean kilowatts for the inside of the home, which uses the kilowatts efficiently. Unfortunately, the vast majority of our homes and buildings today are not efficient and don't use green power. Thus, we have problems. But on the bright side, we have a vast untapped opportunity to solve the problems. The solution requires energy efficiency and green power working together. It's simple and effective, and it begins at home. I'll use my home in Nashville, Tennessee as a starting point. It's a 1,200 square foot basement apartment where I live with my wife, Heather. We came up with a plan to eliminate our use of coal and nuclear power altogether using that two-step approach. We started with our lights. Lights devour nearly 40% of the electricity in many homes. In the southeast, that amounts to 500 kilowatt hours or 500 pounds of coal every month to keep the lights on. Most homes still use these relics, incandescent bulbs. We could be using compact fluorescent bulbs, which use a fraction of the energy and last years longer. Replacing just one will save you up to $75, plus hundreds of pounds of coal over the lifetime of that bulb. We went through our home and counted all the incandescent bulbs we have wasting money and wasting coal every time we turn them on. Then we went shopping. We supported our local economy and purchased enough compact fluorescent bulbs to replace every single incandescent bulb in our home. With each bulb we began saving coal, cleaning up the air, and saving money. Voila. It was one of the most feel-good investments we've ever made. Our electricity bills went down immediately, and the bulbs have already paid for themselves. We wondered what else we could do. Most homes are gold mines of energy-saving opportunities. 
Energy efficient products are available in many stores today if you know what you're shopping for. A government program called Energy Star makes it easy for you to find these products. To learn more about it, I traveled to Atlanta and met an Energy Star specialist with the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. Let's go shopping for energy efficient products. Some of the products offered by Energy Star include Energy Star lighting, as you see here, air conditioning units, dehumidifiers, television sets, and home electronics. There's 38 different products out there that you can choose from. Refrigerators operate 24 hours a day, seven days a week in your home, and they're one of the largest energy users. The good news is that they're 40% more efficient today than they were just two years ago. In a year, these would cost you $30 to operate, where the halogen torsiers that you're used to having in your home cost you $137 to operate. So this is quite a bargain. If one room in every household across America was lit by Energy Star lighting, the change would be like eliminating a trillion pounds of greenhouse gas from the atmosphere. These windows are excellent at keeping heat out of your house and in the wintertime keeping the heat in your house. Energy Star qualified programmable thermostats can save you 15 to 20 percent on the heating and cooling portion of your bill and it'll make your house a lot more comfortable as well. All right, this is your typical top-loading washer that uses 1,000 kilowatt hours per year of energy. And compare that typical washer to this new front-loading washer. And you can see when we reach inside here for the Energy Guide label, it only uses 282 kilowatt hours per year of energy and is Energy Star rated. So this model uses 70% less energy and 70% less water. And it will pay for itself easily over five or six years of use. Danny walks his talk. I want to show you a few things about my house. He showed me the simple steps he took in his own home. Most of the lights in the house are compact fluorescent. This dishwasher is uh, Energy Star rated. So I also have an Energy Star thermostat right here. It's important I went around and caulked around all the outside surfaces that might be leaking into the house here. And what a great opportunity when you're able to replace your heating and cooling system with something that's uh, rated as Energy Star. Uh, you can have 20 to 30 percent of your air conditioning that you pay for leak through ducts if you don't seal them properly with mastic. Uh, this is an Energy Star door that I recently put in, and here's my Energy Star air conditioner. Let me show you some R38 cellulose, which is ground up newspaper in the attic for insulation. And then he showed me his energy savings. And you can see how it's dramatically dropped. So far I've cut the air leaks in this house in half. That's significant. I've also saved six hundred dollars a year on my power bills. With our new knowledge, Heather and I made a few more changes in our apartment. Being on a tight budget, we went to a used appliance store and bought an energy efficient refrigerator for 200 bucks. After installing the refrigerator and lights, we noticed a dramatic drop in our energy bills, cutting electricity use in half compared to the previous year. We now save between 25 and 50 dollars a month. Most homes can do even better.